Welcome back to Channel Ron. This is going to be a two parts video that I'm going to be putting together and the reason for that is because the ground is still frozen and I really can't mount the sump pump alarm that I'm going to be showing you real quick here until the ground is thawed out. So really all I wanted to show you uh, real quickly is this is something that you really got to have. There's not a lot to this. There's some of them out there that you have to hardwire. This one you do not have to do that. It's just 120 volts and you just have to have a receptacle. A GFCI, GFCI receptacle is required for this. Uh, or if you have the breaker that is providing power to the outlet that needs to be GFCI so all you need to do is once that is installed plug it in and I'm going to be demonstrate this in part two of this this is going to be on a post and then what's going to happen is this is going to be down in the sump pump and there normally what would happen is there's going to be two of these one of these is going to be so when it the rises up it pumps all the water out the other one which is this one if that one fails this one is going to rise just like this and the alarm is going to go off all right and this is going to let you know that there's a problem and then obviously when the water goes back down it shuts off now how that's going to be installed is this is not waterproof this is weatherproof you're going to take this cover here off and then you're going to mount it to the post with these four screws in the back and the reason why i need to wait for the frost to go out is because i'm going to use this easy uh, spike um, post holder right here i'm going to drive this down into the ground and once i've done that then i'm going to go ahead and take my four by four post and i'm going to fasten this onto the post itself the middle post that's what these screw holes here for bolt holes for once that is done then i can go ahead and i can post uh, mount my uh, alarm right onto the post and again i'll demonstrate that in part two and then we're pretty much all set to go and we're set if the, you know if there's a problem in the uh, tank just like that so again this is going to be part one of part two and uh hopefully we'll uh have no problems with it. So thanks an awful lot for watching and we'll see you on part two.